Hello, I'm Casey, and welcome to Disability Den, a TDC podcast. On this episode, we're pleased to have Paul Minieri. Paul has cerebral palsy, and he has definitely found the COVID-19 pandemic challenging. Typically, he enjoys playing sledge hockey, selling 50-50 tickets at Blue Jay games, and attending many social events. But unfortunately, due to the time we're currently living in, that's all been halted. Welcome to the podcast, Paul. Thank you very much for having me, Kisi. Pleasure. So what have you been doing in order to keep yourself busy during this time since the social aspect you're used to is currently missing? Well, um, it's been hard, definitely, but uh, I'm so thankful for Zoom. Uh, uh, all my programs I usually do have been transferred on there. So it's not ideal, but it's certainly better than nothing. At least I'm I'm getting my exercise in as much as possible. I use it to connect with friends and uh, family. Like, for instance, I, over Christmas, I, uh, I used it a lot because of I had a lot of Zoom calls from family, friends, you name it, I had it, so. That's very cool. What are you most looking forward to once the pandemic is over and everything returns to normal, hopefully? Well, the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is is going back to work um, because I don't know about you, Casey. I'm certainly missing the social interaction and seeing people in uh, in person, face to face, rather than rather than a computer screen like I'm currently doing right at this moment. Um, and I I look forward to go going back to. Uh, playing uh, my hockey because it's an adrenaline rush for me. And so, and and just, I can't wait to see people like you, like see, uh, catch up with my friends that I haven't seen for a long time. Yeah, when this is all over, there's definitely gonna be a lot of, a lot to talk about for sure. Well, you can write it in the history books. I bet you can uh, write a a history book on the pandemic as a whole, so. So, has the pandemic taught you anything about yourself or has it made you think differently about how your future plans may change? Well, uh, definitely. uh, It's taught me how to... uh, cherish every friendship I I make and uh, appreciate life for what it is because you're not guaranteed tomorrow. So uh, appreciate every day for what it is. Uh, if you do that, you'll be a humble, humbler person. And uh, that's why you have to be uh, facing challenges like this. Because it's not all going to be a, a, a smooth road. There's going to be bumps in the road, as you see. Yeah. And uh, what advice would you have for someone that might be going through a difficult time right now, uh, not being able to stay positive, they might be feeling down? Uh, what would you like to tell them to get them to help get them back on their feet? And, and look towards a, hopefully a bright future to come? Well, um, you can never, you can never stop trying and uh, never give up because uh, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again because, because you, you, you won't get it the first time and that's all fine and dandy. But I'm I'm pretty sure you're gonna get it the second time and third time and 
And that's what you need is perseverance, courage, and patience when uh, faced with a big, uh, when faced with a crisis like this. So uh, perseverance, patience, and a smile on your face will will all uh, be good uh, uh, keys to uh, remember when you're when you're feeling down in the dumps. So, in terms of you personally, what I know, I know a couple of physical things that have helped you get get through this difficult time, like going for walks, as you mentioned, and physio. But uh, mentally, how how have you been? How have you been coping? How have you been? How have you been feeling? Well, um, like I said, uh, I just um, do a couple of different things for my mental. Like I'm in a program right now uh, from uh, mindfulness meditation, and and it helps me cope with uh, my problems and uh, and. Uh, cope with stress at the present time because it's so easy to get to lose sight of your uh, to lose sight of your actions at this uh, at this juncture of the pandemic but you need to full keep your eye on the prize and you and you'll get through that you'll get through it and the mostly of uh, most of all I've I've been I've been connecting with a lot of friends, so um, so that has helped me through this uh, difficult uh, time. Well, Paul, I know you're very a very positive person. I know you 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 try to spread that to those those around you, and I I just want to thank you for for being so bright and and so positive and. Exuding, exuding positivity wherever you go. Uh, it means a lot to not only me but to others around you. Uh, I, I'm sure. So, thank you for doing that. Oh no problem, Casey. And uh, and uh, you have to. Otherwise, you otherwise you give up so easily, and uh, that's not what you want to do, right? So. So once again, Paul, thank you for joining us. And thank you everyone for joining us on this episode of The Disability Den. I am your host, Casey McKay. This podcast has been brought to you by The Disability Channel, and it was made possible by the Introduction to Accessible Content Production Program in partnership with Mohawk College and Owlware Limited. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you soon.